Good morning dear students i hope you all are fine so in today's class we are going to start chapter number 5 that is plant around us you might have seen many plants around you some plants are big some are small okay so in this chapter we will learn various type of plants okay so before starting the lesson let us let us know what else we know okay you might have studied about the parts of plant that there are different parts of plants like your leaf stem root fruit flowers these all are different parts of plants okay so now how plant is useful to us we will also study in this chapter that how plant is useful to us in various forms so what is it the main thing which we get from the plant is food and oxygen we get food and oxygen from the plant so now we are starting with this topic the first topic in this chapter is the different type of plant based on their size so there are different types of plant based on their size when we are talking the first type is tree you all might have seen tree tree is big in size yes it's big in size and also it's stronger okay it is the stronger one it doesn't fall down very fast so when we are taking the example of tree like your mango tree guava tree okay these are some example of trees and these tree lives for a long time okay like for many years so now we the next type is your shrubs you might have seen shrubs around you okay but you are not able to recognize so let's study what is shrub now these are the small bushy plant these are the small bushy plant with branched stem okay and they live only for few years like you might have seen rose plant it doesn't live for many years okay it is only for few years and the next one is your bougainvillea you might have also seen what is a bougainvillea its flower is pinkish in color and the other most common example is your china rose you might have seen in your neighborhood a plant of china rose it is also called as gudhal or your jason in hindi its flower is red in color but it is also found in pink white okay there are different colors found here so this is a kind of shrub now when we are comparing a shrub and a tree the difference is the shrub is weaker than tree that means tree is the stronger one then less stronger is shrub now coming on to the third category is your herbs now what is a herb herb these are the plants with thin green stem you might have seen you might have seen uh, herbs in your kitchen okay but you are not able to recognize whether it is a herb so let me tell you the example of herb a common example of herb is coriander and mint okay coriander and mint in hindi coriander is called as dhaniya hara dhaniya patti and your mint which is called as the pudina this both comes under the category of herb hai na and when we are seeing it it's the weak plant it's weak plant and it's with green stem so when we are seeing the strongest and the bigger in size is tree then your shrub and then it's your herb okay so the two example which is mentioned in your book is your mint and coriander now coming on to the third category of the plant is climber you all might have seen climber but you are not able to recognize whether it is climber or not there are some plants which move in upward direction and they take support of other plant or a stick or another tree okay so let's study these are the plant with weak stem that means their stem is not so strong that they can stand erect they take the support of the other plant to climb on climb and the example of these climber is pea okay matter then your bean 
and money plant money plant is the most common example of climber which you might have seen around you what you do when you uh, grow a money plant in your house you make a support or provide a support on which the money plant climb okay and the last one is your creeper what is a creeper creeper is again a uh, type of plant based on the size but the difference is this creep on ground okay like climber moves in upper direction the creepers creep on ground itself again their stem is weak they are not having the strong stem stem and they spread on the ground now the common example of the uh, uh, creeper is your watermelon and your pumpkin watermelon everyone knows what is a watermelon watermelon means your tarbuz and pumpkin means your kaddu so this both uh, plants are uh, coming under the category creeper so let's revise the first uh, plant type of plant which is the strongest one that is your tree example mango then the second one is shrub that is your like example rose then third one is herb example coriander mint then the fourth one is your climber example money plant and the fifth one is your creeper example is your water melon so these were the types of plants based on the size of plant so now i hope you might have understood the topic we'll see a small uh, we'll see a small revision again there are five types that is first one as your tree shrub herb creeper and climber now we are starting with the other topic the other topic here is the places where plants grow all the plants does not grow anywhere you might have seen some plants grow in a dry place and some plants grow in a watery place and some plants grow in a moderate place where there is no to not too much of uh, water or not too less water so let's study you must have noticed some plant grow everywhere but there are some of the plants which grow everywhere you see the plant around you okay there are like first we are taking plants like lotus and water hyacinth they grows in water so lotus and water hyacinth they grow in water so these plants are called as your aquatic plant so the plants which are growing in water they are called as your aquatic plant example lotus now coming on to the next one it is the plant like cactus and date palm they grow well in desert so there are plants which grow some plants which grow in desert also so how there is the atmosphere of desert it's dry so these plants need less water to grow okay so here where the temperature is very high and the rainfall is less so depending upon the places we have studied first one is your aquatic plant that is water plant then second one is the plant which grows in desert now we are coming on to the third category that is oak and maple which grows in forest where summers and winters are mild so some trees are there which grows in forest but what happens here here the summers and winters are mild that means neither there is too much of summer too long summer nor too much of winter so here the trees which grow they are oak and maple tree okay now coming on to the next one that is the last one is the plant like alpine and willow these are the trees which grows in the places which is covered with snow that means here the temperature would be a cooler one okay so your alpine and willow grows in a area where the temperature is low that is where is too much of snow so there are there were uh, kinds of plants which grow in different places so now i hope you might have understood it now just taking up a revision we have studied the plants based on the size that is your tree sh shrub herb climber and creeper then based on the places that is aquatic 
then in the dry places then we have studied maple and oak tree which grows neither uh, in a forest where there is not too much of summer nor too much of cold and the last one is alpine which grow in the places where there is a snow when we are seeing the alpine tree the upper portion of the alpine tree is in the form of cone you all might have seen cone okay so what happened when the snow falls on the alpine tree the snow slides down it doesn't stay on the leaf much of the snow slides down so these were the different categories of the plants based on the size and on the different places i hope you all might have understood the topic